The second key behavior that I'd like to share with you that we saw consistently among all of the companies that we researched was a genuine desire to co-create solutions. And honestly, folks, I can't think of an industry with bigger opportunities to co-create solutions than healthcare. Right? I mean, I think about all of the challenges in healthcare. I think about some of the work GHX is doing with implantables, track and trace for implantables and pharma. I think about things like the triple aim and also adding in a fourth, right, which is let's enjoy what we do. I think about value-based care. All of these things require industry support, right? It takes more than any one company to solve some of these truly complex problems. So healthcare, I think, is out in front when it comes to the need to co-create, but you're by far not the only industry that has to do it and do it well. One of my favorite case studies that we um, spent quite a bit of time actually with is a company called Domtar. You may not know Domtar, but you probably use their products. Domtar is a paper company. They make paper. Now, if there's an industry that has been disrupted in the last 15 years, it's got to be paper, right? Think about all of the digital transmission, all of the work to move to paperless um, billing, paperless society, right? But Domtar has actually been able to remain pretty relevant and through some pretty interesting ways. The paper industry has a well-deserved reputation historically for not being the best of environmental actors, right? There's a lot of challenge that came out of the early um, paper mills and how they were going about producing their products. They've done a lot as an industry to try and get better. But they were far from done with that journey. Today, they're far from done with that journey. But they have been on a journey to get better. And Domtar has been one of the companies leading the way. Their edge of disruption, where they took their capabilities with the disruptions that were happening in the market, is to create a sustainable future for their industry. But they couldn't do it alone. As a matter of fact, they had some interesting partners. Back in 2006, an ENGO, an environmental non-government organization, think ELF or Greenpeace or the Rainforest Alliance, came to one of their biggest mills, Cromwell, up in Canada. And they dropped an enormous banner over the front of the mill. And they started protesting out in front. Now, Domtar had a choice to make right then and there. They could do what the industry has historically done, and they could call the police, have the protesters removed, spin up the marketing machine, and try and deal with the crisis in that way. Instead, the leadership of Domtar in 2006 made a different decision. They decided that it was time to create that sustainable future. And they actually went out. They went out the door literally that day, but they also went out figuratively out the door, and they invited in the people who were most combative with them, the ENGOs. They invited them to the table to co-create a solution for a sustainable future. Today, Domtar produces Earth Choice paper, which you may have seen in Best Buy or Office Max. It is the only paper product like its kind, certified by the World Wildlife Foundation, also by the Forest Stewardship Council, as being sustainably produced in their industry. They could not have accomplished that if they had not opened up the doors, not only to the ENGOs, but also to some of their competitors, their suppliers, and their distributors, like Best Buy and Office Max, who had to be brought along to be convinced that they could sell an Earth Choice-type product. <laughs>